Welcome back to the channel of the My GM series for NXT here. I hope you had a good day yesterday, but we're back and it's on the road to WrestleMania. We have probably some great ideas, you know, cooked up for today's episode leading up to WrestleMania. And then of course WrestleMania is gonna be great fighting champions. You know, we're gonna we're gonna win it out and all that. But, you know, we're so close to WCW's uh, fan total, so we're gonna be working towards that. This episode, hopefully, we'll get it, but this is the card I have for the first week. Um, I was going to have a promo slash uh, w uh, women's tag title stuff for this weekend, or for this week. But, you know, he wants me to rest him, and it's perfect because I would love to get somebody a boost of popularity that's under 60. That would be great. Um, but this is what I have up so far. Finishing this rivalry between Bobby and Zero so we can just do something for, you know to lead up to Wrestlemania or something like that um, Me Chan you know have her switching roles because she's going for the title and that's going to be part of the Fatal 4 way we have just the men's you know champions and contenders fighting again you know just a normal match just to keep popularity up between them I may even I may even put a fix a match on them to help boost their popularity and then you know I would turn it right back around uh, again and give them probably another uh, tag match between them and just have it um, play out the way it is uh, I keep saying that a lot we got Charlotte and, and Eve uh, fighting just to help that rivalry boost up for the tag uh, not for the tag title but for the the women's fatal four-way title self promo but just by uh, vega just to help her popularity and then we have finn and ridge finishing this rivalry because it's going to be tremendous great it's probably going to give us four four stars so and then i'll give a boost of the state of the art all right that's all i have that's all i'm i got to say so um let's change it that way all right now i'm ready we're ready for this today's episode let's get into it i hope i hope you enjoy it if you do please leave a like comment and subscribe i look forward to it i would love it would love to hear from you and possibly what you would like to see in the next gm mode that i do on here so we're gonna get right into it all right the first matchup the finisher who is gonna win this rivalry Zero wins this rivalry. Rivalry complete. Three and a half stars. Beautiful open. Lee Chan, roll switch. Beautiful. All right, mid card. We already know who's winning here. We got the challengers winning. It's a good rivalry. Three stars. Absolutely nice. Tomas, thank you for those 3,700 fans. We needed that. Charlotte versus Eve. Who's winning? Eve wins. And so, okay, match only two and a half stars. Vega has got one plus popularity. And then. For this one, Finn, Bridge, who's going to win this rivalry? Ooh, Finn wins it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Amazing four stars. What did I say? Four stars. I, I called it. Beautiful. Throughout the week, I mean, WCW had a good mid card for that one. Not tag titles. But we had a good week. 4,000 fans. Pretty beautiful. 16 by WCW, 4,000 by Raw, and minus 16 by SmackDown. Damn. Beautiful. To the moon. I don't know who I'm going to use it on yet. I'm just going to take a look. Okay. Second week's card is here. This is what I have, you know, just uh, mixed and matched up. Uh, I'm trying to start a rivalry between Finn and Chase because that's going to be part of the Fatal 4-Way for the title. Um, then I got, this is the tag team that I put together. I was going to put Finn on this, but I'd rather have Finn fight for a title. Uh, Priest is just doing a promo. We got this backstage brawl to help with fans. This to help continue the rivalry and popularity. And then we have this for the women's tag title. So, and I put the boost on Sammy. So, yeah. I put the boost on Sammy to make sure that she uh, boosts her popularity so it's equal with uh, Dawn because that could even make a better match. 
So let's roll right into it. First match. Hopefully this starts the rivalry. Finn wins. Falls count anywhere. Great match. No rivalry. So I'll just do a call out next week. Maybe even a double call out to help out. No rivalry. I started there. Next week they're getting a match. Backstage brawl. Well, what's happening here? Nova wins this backstage brawl. Mediocre. Whatever. Damn. Weak pop by that. Oof, this is a bad week. All right. It's just a normal match between Tiff and Lee. Tiff wins. It's a good match. Thank you. Seth. Great. 6,000 fans. Excellent. All right. Main event time. Women's tag title on the line. All right. Vega and Michan win. Per perfect. It's wow. And four stars right off the bat for a rivalry. That that saved the whole. That saved this this card. Thirty four thousand fans from that. Beautiful. Only fifteen by WCW. Nineteen by Raw. And SmackDown loses another seven. But yeah, we needed that. All right. This is the next week's card. I have a submission match for the ta for the main title just to help boost this rivalry to a four real fast. Uh, I have this call out for Finn and Chase and I'll probably spin it around next week to have another one just because they're out know, there. Um, the stamina is a bit low. Charity. I have this tag team doing a call out. Uh, Lee wanted to win this week so I just gave her another uh, match and I just gave it to her to boost that rivalry same thing with this one just a regular title match and then a normal uh, tag team match here but I actually might do uh, just extreme rules just to make it a little bit more interesting all right this is this week's card yeah I know we have three titles on the line but it's to boost the rivalries between everybody or or you know what? Let me take this one off. We'll just have a normal match between them. Yeah. Alright, that that I like that. Yeah, not too many title title switches. Alright, this one's just to help the rivalry out. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, first match, men's tag title on the line. Eric and Buck keep it. Not bad. Three and a half stars. Beautiful. This call out. Damn. That sucks. All right. Uh, Tiff and Lee. We already know who's winning here. Lee's going to win. Not bad. That rivalry is up to four, so just a promo next week. All right. This rivalry grows. Beautiful. This rivalry. It's just a normal match. Bait, Bates win. That's good. It's a good thing that I didn't do that because, you know, another title switch. Uh, 4,500 fans by Torres. That's good. And then Rollins and Re uh, Roman. Seth keeps the title. That's nice. Amazing. Four stars. Beautiful. Another beautiful week leading up to WrestleMania. week here not bad right. 46,000 fans beautiful 20,000 by WCW 15 by Raw and another minus 8 for Smackdown they've been losing fans on the road to Wrestlemania but we've been gaining hey we're so close to Mick we're so close I just need another good week all right the week before Wrestlemania this is a card I have uh, mixed and matched up just another uh, boost to this rivalry here before Wrestlemania a self promo by Tiff Charity by Priest, Charity by Lee, um, another mid card here just for the tag titles, there's no rival or anything between it. This one, Eve wanted me to do an interference, so sure, why not? And then another submission match between Reigns and Rollins, hopefully to get that up to level 4. Um, nothing else happened, this is what I'm going with week before, just a bunch of normal matches. Uh, don't want anybody to get hurt before WrestleMania. So, uh, tag women's tag match. Uh, Dawn and George win. Great match. No rivalry no growth there, but next week they can do whatever. She got plus one popularity. Not bad. All right. Eve. Charlotte wins, even though I interfered. Okay. Um, 
Priest, 5,200 fans there for charity. Not bad. Men's men's tag fight. Eric and Buck. Uh, finally, we got a rivalry between them. Finally. Wow. Um, Lee, plus 3,000. And then, uh, yeah, Seth and uh, Reigns. Submission match. Let's see what happens here. Seth wins again. Finally, we got it up to four stars. Also, with the Finn match, I, I, I might just drop Finn's match and let or I throw him in there for the North American title uh, match because that rivalry wasn't going. It wasn't moving at all, and I'd rather just just go with this storyline between Rollins and and Roman, not mix it up with the Fatal Four Way. So that's what I'm doing. Not a bad week, also not bad, but we did better than WCW all week, so that's that's the best thing. 24,000 fans by us, minus 4,000 from WCW, so perfect. 20 by Raw, and SmackDown another, minus 4. Ooh, yes, fuck you, yeah, fuck you, Mick. We're at 10,000 fans above Mick, and we're not stopping next week. We're, we're going even higher, we're going even higher. We're only 500,000, you know, give or take from Raw, so, hell, we can do it next, next season, we can absolutely catch them, so Wrestlemania, here we are Re be this is the best Wrestlemania I think I've put on, minus this one, this tag team right here, but I think this is the best one, I threw Finn into this one just because he has a little bit more popularity than Tyler, but also, hell, I'll just, I just threw it in there, make it a triple threat match let's make it fun, give everybody the Wrestlemania moment uh, I'm out of money. I was gonna do a bunch of promos and, and charities or and and or whatever, or no, oh, nah, that's that's just for money. But yeah, this is WrestleMania time. I ain't got time for that right now. We're gonna have fun. Women's Fatal Four Way opening up WrestleMania. Then we got the men's tag titles on the line. Then we have the triple threat match for the North American title. Then we have the women's tag titles on the line. And just a backstage brawl. Just a hell, why not? And then we have main event. I know Roman's tired, but it's WrestleMania. Let's let's finish it. Let's get right into it. No stalling. Right into WrestleMania. This is the best one I've put on, I think, in this series. But uh, opener, women's title on the line. Let's see who wins. Charlotte wins. Legendary, beautiful, five stars. Both both rivalries complete. That must have been a TLC to watch. All right, men's tag title on the line. Eric, Buck, Holland, Tomas. Who's gonna win? Eric and Buck keep the tag titles. Not bad. All right, triple threat match for the North American title. Priest, Bate, Balor. Who's going to win this title? Finn wins. New champion there. Legendary rivalry complete between Priest and Bate. Finn comes in, steals it away from his, you know, his own teammate. Wow. Own teammate, old teammate. Who knows in this world where it's going. All right, women's tag title is on the line. Who is going to win? Vega finally got the title back, but is Dawn and George that that much better? The shakeup that they had? I also forgot to look at the records. I'm so sorry for that, but hell, we're already in WrestleMania. I was too excited for this card. Let's see who wins the women's tag title. Dawn and George win it back. This is what I'm talking about. They're the shakeup that I needed in this women's division. Wow. All right now even even more fun main event time Rollins Reigns for the NXT title this rivalry goes back so many years who the hell is going to win let's see Rollins says Roman you're still not on my level you still can't beat me wow what a 
what a WrestleMania. This is honestly, I think, the best WrestleMania I put on. Hey, Undertaker's back. Look at that. And he's going up against double champ I Ivar for the for the title. Okay. You guys have no titles on the line other than that. Okay. It's WrestleMania. Hey, look. Stone Cold is back versus the Animal. I mean, okay. What titles they have on the line? Just the tag titles. That's it. Jake the Snake's the USA champ. What? Okay. What, what's going on over here, bro? All right, SmackDown. You guys have just the two tag titles on the line. Maybe this is why you're losing fans. How do we do? Multiple five stars. We blew everybody out of the damn water. Especially with some of the mid cards. We beat them by a double. I know I have that that fighting champions thing on, but I think even without that, I think I would have had multiple four stars. Four star matches. I, I truly believe that. I just put the boost in there because it's WrestleMania. The biggest of the big. I put on the biggest shows, even though I'm NXT. That's what I think. Match report here, rivalry, title match, everything, everything's beautiful. Right here, not bad. Honestly, if I didn't put the the fighting champs on this, I think this would have been like a three and a half star, maybe. Uh, this probably would have been a four star still. This probably would have been a four and a half star, maybe. And then this probably would have been legendary as well. I think these two would have been legendary just because of popularity and, and, and rivalry. And then same thing here. But yeah, that's what I think. I think I still would have won across the board, maybe even been tied four and a half stars, not five, but I still think I did good. 367,000 fans eat it. WCW, we beat them by 120. Raw, we got them by 100, so we're slowly bringing in Raw. We're reeling them in. And SmackDown, only 160. 170 rounded up. Look at that. 9.1 9 million. We're, uh, we're 368 away from beating Raw. We, we did great. Now I can't Come on, SmackDown, you have a vacant men's title and you'd even put it up for, for WrestleMania? What the fuck? Alright, Slammy Awards. What do I get? Highest average superstar morale. Everyone loves working uh, working here. Most giants, okay. Most bruiser, okay. Most fatal. Everyone liked working here at NXT. So, alright. And once again, we dominate this 4-2. Raw is the only one up there. We had most rivalries completed, so most stories told. Highest uh, average card quality of their PLE. Most new fans in a single show. Best match card quality. I honestly, I th we, we're just killing it that in that aspect. Most matches won. Most weeks spent injured. We don't get. We don't have people injured. Thomas most matches. Bates and Chan not bad. Bad. We're still in the Hall of Fame. Mick, not bad. How'd they do? Damn, 10 weeks injured? He was getting injured a lot. Look at that. I, even though she was on Raw, most popularity gained, she came back. She came over here. She didn't like working over there. That's funny. You have you have lived booked 23 matches and she's not champ. She's. And then SmackDown, where's your men's champ? Hall of Fame, Mick Foley, congratulations, you're in the Hall of Fame as a manager, but still not better than me. I'm going to keep playing. I think, I think one more season. If I can't, if I can't get Raw in one more season, then, I, then, you know, I'm still better than them. Still put on better matches, but yeah. Let's keep playing one more season. Why not? Season 7, I think this is going to be the last season. Uh, who do I keep? Who do I keep? Oh, I got to keep Seth. 
He's our champion, most popularity. I can't let that slip. Do I keep Finn? That's, that's a lot of money to keep from Finn for just a North American champ. Do I keep Charlotte? Or do I get Torres? Bring, bring a new face around here. bring Dawn back. I, I like the popularity out of that. You know what? I'm going to bring the women's, the women's champs back. The tag champs. I like that. I, I like that. I really do. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. Bring back Seth, Dawn, and George. I like that. Alright. Alright. This is where I'm going to uh, uh, leave it. This is it. These are the season's keepers. You're, these are the people you'll be seeing next year. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode and enjoyed this WrestleMania out of all of them. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will. I appreciate it so very much. Um, but until then, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope, and I'll see you tomorrow.